Welcome back to Off The Beaten Track Canada. Um, I promised you a video, uh, the cargo platform I made and I put the video in for that but I didn't do the follow up and here it is. It's a little bit late, it's probably a year down the line now. Um, I've used it for extensively. I installed an AIB Zero fridge with the AIB Zero slide. I did have the, uh, a homemade slide on there before but it wasn't holding up. It didn't work. I pulled the trigger, I cried once and then I bought the slide. It's over $500. It's expensive but now it's in I love it it's brilliant and it's uh, it keeps my fridge solid I love the mount I love the fridge and um, there's a couple of uh, downsides to it as I'll tell explain later I love how it's fitting in the back how it's looking um, the carpet etc it did pull up a slightly when I was putting velcro cargo space holders organizers in there because it was velcro on the bottom as I was ripping up the the, the cargo box or the, the velcro bottom it started lifting the carpet up a bit I haven't covered the cubby hole, I left it open because I can put tools and stuff in there and I, I, the, the baggage I've got in there now it just gives me a flat surface where I've put the last bag in where I've got my um, jump leads in there and I don't feel I need a lid in there any, anymore really I love the fridge there's a couple of things drawbacks to it it dents the, uh, the tailgate because it's just a t half inch too long uh, so when I shut the tailgate it's dented um, the tailgate slightly. I've got, a, I've got a decal transfer sticker or whatever it is over it, so it's not too much of an issue, but it's just a good stern close I'm needing to do when I close it, but everything's in there solid. I couldn't fit the slide any further back, because when the fridge is installed, it's against the seat. Oh, another thing. The fridge sticks out slightly when I've got the, uh, the soft top on, because I've got the slant back and the slant back and uh, cut straight down the similar uh, contour as the sports bar and as you'll see it sticks out a little bit more it does fit but it just bulges the back of the, uh, the soft top a little bit but it's not too much of an issue it's, uh, I like the look of the soft top the, I love the slant back as you see in my other videos but it, it, it doesn't damage anything doesn't cause any issues so I live with it but um, when you use it with the soft top you've got to try and roll the soft top up a little bit to slide the fridge out to get in there um, it's perfect with a hard top, uh, soft top is a little bit more difficult because again you've got to zip, unzip it and roll the sides up. So I anchored this down in four places as the normal mounting structures say. There's two bolts at the rear, two bolts at the front and it's straight into the, the, the base I made. There's the two at the front. I installed the mount or well, the power accessory by ARB goes straight under the base and runs through under the carpet up to the front into the battery so I always have power and I've got auxiliary batteries in my vehicle so the cargo platform's held up well it's a little bit dirty at the moment I haven't uh, hoovered it properly or vacuumed it properly but it's uh, you can tell it fits nicely it does expose this area here so you can't leave the screws in or they'll bounce out especially if you're going off road so you leave the bolts and screws for the roofs and the door off. Uh, I use this area for, the, uh, for my tools, jump leads, things I don't normally use at all times. So kit, I, I don't have to use it all time, I can just leave it in there and it's stored well. Put the trail dirt in there. I'm still think, toiling and thinking about putting a, a tray or some kind of cubby hole, a box area there, painting it black or capping it. So I've got somewhere to put uh, stuff when I put it in the back. As you know, I've got the uh, Genesis dual battery up front, so I've got an auxiliary battery running my power to the fridge at all times. It's it took a little while to decide to buy the, um, the slide. The slide's very expensive, um, it's about $500. Canadian um, for the slide and I'm um, I toyed with the idea I mean case we made a slide it just didn't quite hold up and I thought I'm just gonna cry once buy this slide so it's fitted all the time it's a good solid unit and my fridge fits fits on it pretty well it's sturdy and it holds it well in place uh, I'll show you now the fridge install on top of the slide
So that's the fridge installed on the slide. I'm going to tidy these these uh, straps up later. I normally just wrap them around and tidy them up. But uh, that's a pretty solid fridge once it's installed. It fits in there nicely. It does take a bit of room up. But I've got a 40 like 45 litre fridge installed into the Jeep. I can leave running at all times for my day trips, camping weekends, camping weeks, whatever I'm doing, overlanding. I'm going to put the uh, cable in. With the RB0, you can never install it with power to the front, with DC, so you can leave, your, leave it powered by your uh, mains. Or by the uh, by mains in the, from the house, or by your uh, your vehicle power or 12 up uh, source. So if you want to just leave boost it, so you're not using the vehicle power, have to take it to a temperature. I can use it in the house and for emergencies, or take it out and use it uh, elsewhere. But uh, yeah, it's quite portable, quite useful. It's got pockets on the side where I usually keep the spare cables. So that's the mains one, my one ton cable. Quite an important tool here, look. Bottle opener. Cheers, ARB. Okay, so let's uh, let's get it powered up. The reason I went with the ARB installation kit is because it comes with a 12 volt screw in uh, adapter. So when you screw it in, it's quite secure. There's a notch at the bottom. Of the connector and there's a notch at the bottom of the adapter or the receptacle once you put it in screw it home secure which leaves this element here to be fitted into here and you should hear it power up what i tend to do with this uh, spare cable i'll have a bungee here elevated just to keep it out of the way of the, the track or I'll leave it down. I'll have it tucked under the seat, making sure I don't trap it with the seat as I go up and down. I'll tidy it up with some zip ties, just so I've got enough cable for when it's extended. It doesn't tug, there's enough room, but when it comes back, it doesn't trap either. So that's why I use a bungee dangling from the roll bar, or the sport bar, it doesn't trap. When you first power it on, you'll automatically get the boost if you, when you power it up. And it'll take you down to the desired temperature. Mine is currently one, but I can change that. Put it down to freezer mode. But I leave, usually leave it about one degrees. As you see there, there's plenty of room when the door's closed, the window's closed. But you'll notice a, a, a binging on there. And I've got to shut it quite forcefully. I'll leave my tall stuff like milk and bottles at the back and the, the smaller stuff at the front. This does close if you want it to. And the top tray comes out completely. And there's a drain plug at the bottom. There it fits. With the fridge fitted, you'll see the cargo space I have left. There's still ample room there, ample room. And all my tools and stuff I'll need rarely goes underneath in a compartment there, just slid underneath in bags. And then I've got all that room now for organization, shopping for the missus. So there you go, there's a review of the cargo base I made. And also there's a review of the, the ARB fridge freezer I put in there, uh, the Z ARB 045. With the slide that came from IRB and the, the cover and the straps and that's installed. Oh, and the uh, ARB installation kit, which runs up to the front into my uh, Genesis dual batteries. So I can split my household batteries and my automotive batteries and keep the power separate. So I don't have any issues if I need to power up. I hope you liked the video. Uh, straight after this, there'll be some videos being recommended. Uh, one I recommended, which is a camping trip I did a, a year and a half ago. 
which I absolutely love the camping trip. Saw some great uh, stuff, uh, some great friends out on the trails with me, and I uh, really enjoyed that trip. And the other one's a recommended one uh, from YouTube, the lit, whichever's been most popular lately. Uh, it'll, it'll probably alter next time you come. So uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've if you have, brilliant. Like and subscribe. That'll help me grow the channel. Until next time. See you there.